Hey guys, what is up, Green Machines? I'm back with another video, and today we're doing another Madden 23 roster update guide. Uh, this is just going to be more how to download the roster and how to play with it. So, first you're going to want to head over to this little NFL logo that says Rosters and Playbooks. Head down to Share and Manage Files. Download Community Files. Yes, you do have to re-download it every single time. I do make an update and post it back to the Share File section. Uh, reason being is you just have to download the rate it latest changes. So some of my stuff is more at the top, um, especially if you sort by date. I normally am updating it at least every one to two days. So there's that. Um, you can download any of them; they're all the same. So you can or and if you've already downloaded one of them, you can overwrite or you can save as a new file. Overwrite just means it's going to keep the same name. Save as new file. You don't, you're going to have to make a new name for it. Then you guys have to load the roster. You have to, you have to, you have to load the roster. That is a major thing. Now, if you can't already tell, I am on PlayStation. I am on, I am on PS5. So that does kind of suck for any PS4 users or Xbox users. But I just figured I'd address it now rather than later in the video. And then you can go into play now. You cannot play online though. If you do play online, I think you have to be in a franchise. So as you can see, DJ Moore's here. None of the rookies are really going to show up. I don't even think for the Panthers. Yeah, the Panthers don't even have him show up. So then you can head over to the edit roster section and you can look at all the new players. Now, I am going through and changing jersey numbers. I don't know if I stated that in the last video or if I put it in the pinned comment. So jersey numbers are being changed. I do have quite a few teams done already. Uh, I am slowly working through them. But something big, these are at least two teams that I remember, um, is the Bills have jersey numbers sorted. So all their jersey numbers should be correct. But somebody like the Broncos, I remember them not having their guys ready. Uh, Marvin Mims doesn't have his correct jersey number because they haven't assigned him one. I don't know if they're just not assigning jersey numbers to rookies until they make it out of OTAs and like rookie mini camps and all this fun stuff. So jersey numbers are semi-correct. They're open jersey numbers for the most part. I did not try to give out the jersey numbers that are already on a player even if they're not on the roster. Like, there's a quarterback for the Broncos that isn't here, and they also have an offensive tackle that isn't here because they're both from, like, smaller schools and I don't think are part of the NFLPA right now. So, they're not on the roster. I'm not going to worry about them. They'd be too low of an overall to really even make and consider making the roster to begin with. So, jersey numbers are getting fixed as we speak. Of course, everything is a slow process. I do have to go change players. And if somebody else is wearing a jersey number, then I got to change that play player. I think when I did the Panthers the first time, I think I had a list of like seven players that I had to go through and change so that I could get the last person that I checked their jersey number. So it is a little bit of a process, but it is going. I don't think jersey numbers are the biggest thing right now, are the biggest, you know, worry. They're not going to change gameplay. They're not going to change just like what's going on in your franchise. It's not the biggest thing. So I am slowly but surely working my way through it. If you don't agree with the position change, you can change the player back. One more thing. I will not be changing players' position based off of the team's new scheme, based off of a new head coach. Reason being is because then the CPU plays the wrong scheme with the players. So like if I moved Brian Burns to left outside linebacker right now, he would be playing as a stand-up 4-3 backer and then playing as an edge rusher in pass downs. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about anything, Remember, I have hit the create a player wall limit, so I will not be creating more players. But if I do see anybody that I do like in the 6th and 7th rounds, I might edit over a shittier player and put them in the roster. It's just 6th and 7th round guys. A lot of them don't even make the opening, at least 7th round guys, they don't even make the opening day roster, the 53 man for the first week. I don't think they're that big of a deal. If you guys want to make them, that's perfectly fine. It is easier to make them in franchise, though. So if you're going to make a player, you may as well wait. Go into franchise. Another question I had was, how do you make a new franchise with the roster? You do have to load the roster, and then you have to go into franchise mode. Use active roster, actually. That's really the best way to do it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about the roster or anything in the video, let me know down below. But I'll be back with more videos like this and more NFL Draft content soon. But with that being said, guys, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Thank you.